So as we can see from the final content generated here, there is an up to date exactly how much Donald Trump was ordered to pay on the 27th of January, 2024. This was previously impossible until we added perplexity into the autoblogger. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the autoblogger that I released the other day, but this time I've combined it with perplexity. If you don't know, perplexity is like ChatGPT, but it's connected to the internet. So you can see from the example at the beginning of the video, for example, you can see how much he was ordered to pay today. And just as a side note, I don't care about American politics. Please don't leave comments about American politics. I really, really don't care. It's just an example um, that I took from The Guardian. Okay. So I'm not going to be going through how to install my autoblogger in this video. If you do not have it installed, if you don't know how to use it, please go to my channel and watch this video right here. It's currently popping off as well. It's getting about 300 views per hour, which is really, really good uh, for my channel recently. So I'm really, really happy with that as well. Thank you to everyone. But I recommend watching this video because it has a really, really good in-depth tutorial on how to install the autoblogger. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, if you want even more information about the autoblogger, this is the first time I'm actually talking about this on my channel. I, I don't really want to push it too much. But if you go on incomestreamservice.com and you choose the done with you option, this one here, we're currently doing live trainings, Ron and myself, and we're getting really, really good feedback. People are absolutely loving it right now. So if you do want to join, feel free. But again, like you don't have to. You can do all of this yourself as well. You really don't have to do any of this. But the, la the last training was two hours of me showing how to install the autoblogger for noobs, basically. So it might be worth watching. Anyway, this is the autoblogger right here. Okay, it's inside the service page generator. It's got it's called perplexity.py. You can find it on my GitHub as usual on the ChatGPT Assistant autoblogger. You can see right here, if I refresh this, you'll see perplexity.py right here, 14 minutes ago. You can use this however you want, but it is connected to perplexity. Now you will also need a perplexity API key. So if you just go on perplexity and click on your profile right here and on the top right, press API, add some credits. I've only used one cent so far, which is really, really good. And then generate an API key as well. You then need to put your open API key into where it says open API token right here. And you need to put your perplexity bearer right here after where it, it says bearer. So it says bearer, and then you just put your API key as well. You're already set up now. If you know what you're doing, then you're already good to go. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll need to put your brand images and links into brand images and links.txt. Again, watch the video that I showed you before if you don't know what you're doing. And then you need an example of some content that you like in example.txt. And then you need a content plan, okay? For the content plan, in this particular case, I've gone for a topic that I talked about ages and ages and ages ago, which is hunting. Hunting has very specific laws in different states. And it's something that if you just gave ChatGPT the task to write this content, it may make things up, it may fill in some holes that it doesn't know, and it may talk some crap, basically. So I think this is a really, really good topic. So I'm going to run Python perplexity.py and it should just run immediately. We're already good to go. Obviously the images are not great for um, the example that we're doing here because I'm talking about hunting, but all of the images are of tiny homes and oh dear, that is a Dali cursed image if ever I saw one. So the first thing the script does is it searches whatever the keyword is on perplexity, which is a completely new step. Now I will be doing much more work on this in the future. Okay. I just want to show you the difference in kind of the, the amount or the quality of information that you're given by perplexity compared to just running chat GPT on its own. So I'm going to say, what are the hunting laws in it would be Alabama, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alba I don't even know how to spell Alabama. Jesus. Wait, this is ChatGPT4, sorry. What are the hunting laws in Alabama? There we go. 
Okay, so we see in Alabama, hunting laws are established and regulated by the Alabama Department of Con Conservation, blah, blah, blah. Licenses, you need licenses, seasons. You know, th there's not a lot of really in depth information like how much does a license cost, for example? How do I get these things? What do I do? Blah, blah, blah. So if I say, can you just format this content so it's legible? Sorry if I'm not writing legible correctly there. And then let's see the difference. Hunters must have appropriate hunting licenses. Youth hunters under 16 of age require hunting licenses. There are 35 WMAs, which wasn't mentioned before. Uh, minimum peak tension, 30 LBs for bows, 85 LBs for crossbows. This is just information that you're not given by ChatGPT. Like, it doesn't say anything about foxes or anything here. Whereas the answer from perplexity... It, it, it's giving you how much the penalties cost, you know, all of this really, really good in-depth information. And what does Google look for? It looks for good in-depth information. So you can obviously use this to your advantage. You can now write about trending topics that happen today, like the example that I gave you at the beginning of the video. You can write about kind of more difficult methods to write about, you know, things like science, things like finance, things that generally ChatGPT struggles to give the required standard of good quality information. Okay, so the final stage of this is to format the article. All you do is just take this output here. So it says, it's this one here where it says, um, yeah, when you can start seeing hashtags and it says overview of Alabama's hunting laws. So we'll just copy that and then we'll say format this article, please. And then we'll paste it. So obviously the images aren't going to be right here, but the information is much, much more in depth than if you just said to ChatGPT, write me an in-depth article about hunting laws in Alabama. Surprisingly, it's actually managed to get the Alabama flag as well, which is, is that the Alabama flag? Alabama flag. I think it is. It's the cross. I seem to remember. Yeah. So what it's done there is because Tiny Home Hub also mentions Alabama, um, even in a different context. So this is, it's actually managed to get the flag of Alabama, which is really, really cool in there. Obviously, there are some weird things like your business name, because there are some placeholders that you need to change around. But overall, the article is much more in detail. It gives you, it, it, it uses knowledge that ChatGPT might not necessarily have had. And obviously, in certain niches and certain cases, this is absolutely fundamental. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for all the support recently. We're going very, very quickly right now. I'm having a great time. I'm loving working on this auto-blogging thing. Um... All I would say to you is you need to understand how you can use this for yourself. Obviously, I'm good at making it work for me, but you also need to think about how you can make it for you. Now, what I'll tell you right make it work for you. What I will tell you right now is I spent three days making blog posts or pillar pages exactly like this. Instead of, you know, two, three, four, five days, you can easily make them pretty much exactly the same just using this auto blogger. The next thing I'm going to add is a way to generate graphs and things like that into the content that will give that very, very important, unique twist. And probably the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use perplexity to find data and then I'm going to use code interpreter to create graphs. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content, and peace out. P.S. If you watch the end, you're a legend.